hit this tree. Oh, okay. This tree does not move. It's a mighty tree. Welcome back to Arcade. I am Super Tommy, and in this video, we're going to look at static bodies with MatterJS in Phaser 3 with ECS. Now, if you enjoy our ECS videos with Phaser 3 and MatterJS, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on Phaser 3 and ECS. It is also the best way to support the channel. So now we have a tank moving in our game. It can steer, it looks pretty cool. Um, but we can also, we may also want to add walls or different obstacles. So those could be added as static bodies. So to do that, we're going to just show you how to add trees. So this is similar to our arcade physics uh, set of videos doing a similar thing, creating static sprites of trees so that our tanks can run into them. So for these trees, we're going to need three different components or three components to make up our trees. That is the position component, the matter sprite component, and this is the new one, the matter static sprite component. Now let's look at these components a little bit more. So now we looked at the first two components, components, the position and the matter sprite components in previous videos. The key component in this video to create a static sprite is the matter static sprite component that we're gonna add. And it's gonna be just a tag. That means it has no properties just like our player component from the previous videos. We're just tagging any entity with this matter static sprite component as a static body component. So in our arcade physics video, you'll notice that we did it a different way. What we did is we created another sprite component type. So for example, if we wanna do that here, we can create a matter static sprite component, have a texture property on that component and then simply create a new system that only creates static matter sprites. Now you could do it that way um, as well here, but we're just showing you another way you can do it with this matter static sprite tag component. So now let's look at the system we need for this setup. So here's our um, system. We've seen our matter, matter sprite system previously. So the new system is the matter static sprite system. And all it's gonna do is take any entity with the matter static sprite component and then set the is static property to true. Now let's see how all this works in code. All right, so let's add some static tree. So the first thing we're gonna do is create that matter uh, static sprite component. So we already did that here. So matter static sprite. So let's look at this component. So it's very uh, sim simple. So here it is, just like our player component, just a tag. So we basically create a, a const, a variable to store this in, and we just call it the find component with nothing in it, and we've created this tag component that we can then use. So we've exported it. So now we can import it like we did here on line 12 in our scene, that's our matter ECS scene here. So we've imported it, now we can use it. So let's make some trees. So we've already preloaded our tree large and small um, uh, textures here. So here they are. And let's come down here um, and just go make a tree. Let's say large tree. So we're gonna do add entity. And this is gonna be a tree. So this dot world, let's just call this tree large. And now our, our large tree is gonna have uh, three components, the position, matter sprite, and matter uh, static sprite. So let's go add component. First one is gonna be the position component on our tree large. That's the ID of our tree. And let's give it a value here. So position X tree large, let's just say 400. And then um, Y also 400. And then let's add component, this dot world. Um, we have matter sprites. So matter sprite, tree large, and then matter sprite, we're gonna give it a texture. So dot texture index into the uh, tree large ID. And we're gonna say textures dot tree large. And last thing here to make it static is we're gonna add component this dot world matter static sprites. This is the, the tag component. 
that we just created and that's all we need to do now no um well let's just see I mean, let's bring up chrome here chrome so you see we do have a um tree but it is not going to be static since so we did not add our static sprite system let's run into it and it moves so if we i mean i guess the tank could run over a tree but um in our case we want our tree to be static so what we got to do is create our matter static sprite system so let's go to our matter.ts here we've already created some boilerplate again uh, just the basics of setting up creating a system so we've pre-made our query here this is wrong we've only we only copy and paste is what we did so let's say we are really gonna want the matter static sprite that is the only component we want here any any component is that true no we also want matter matter sprite because we need to know matter sprite so if it's it's got to be a matter sprite and a matter static sprite so they have both of these components on we know that we can uh, set that to static i guess you could omit this i don't know that will be up to you it'll work either way you'll see when we when we do this um do the code here so let's get our enter query we only do this one time when the component is first added we we'll also want the exit so let's just say you want to start out static and then we want to unstatic you so we want to do an exit query as well so first let's do our enter query so const query enter i just call this on query enter as well on query enter so enter query query let's look through these let's do a for of here so let's call this id and then it's going to be I gotta, I gotta do this. Um, enter entities um, on query enter. Give it the world. Okay, here is gonna be enter entities. Enter entities. This is just a convenience uh, of writing a uh, norm, more normal for loop. Um, so ID here is the ID of the entity. So let's get the sprite from our sprite map matter sprites by id dot get id as usual we want to make sure if there is no sprite that we will still um, not break so we can just skip any logic here if we don't have a sprite because we need our sprite to set it as static so sprite dot is static we want to set this to true so, no sorry set is set static set static is what we want to call set that to true so this is going to make our sprite static when we first add this component to our entity so let's just run this and then we'll go back to the exit exit query let's come here let's put this right after our matter sprite system so create matter static sprite system we don't need anything passed in now let's go back to chrome let's look at our tree uh, let's see our tree does not have the right oh no it does matter static sprite let's just make sure what we did here matter matter static sprite that looks good that looks good this should be a blue one refresh okay let's go to our source here matter.ts and let's look at our matter static sprite let's see what we got nothing create matter static sprite system okay so there's always no entities with those two because we must have missed an entity matter sprite matter static sprite Tree large, tree large. Let's come here. Matter static sprite. Let's make sure we have the right one. Matter static sprite. On enter. So it is at least on enter. So we can refresh. This should hit one time. Okay, it does. Great. So let's see. So there is a sprite. If not sprite, continue. 
sprite set static true. Although it is definitely not static. Oh, it is. Okay, so it was, it's arcade physics that has the blue border. Got confused there, but you get to see some debugging. Should have tested first. So there's a tree, it's static, I can't push it. So that's what I expect. All right, awesome. All the code did look good, and so that's working. Now, for, um, let's get rid of Chrome. For removing staticness, if we were to remove this, um, this component, we can get an exit query. So let's just do this. Const on query exit. So exit query, pass in the query, and it'll be very similar to the top here. We're gonna do exit entities on query exit. We are going to do a for of again. So iterator is gonna be the ID exit entities. And we're gonna do something very similar, just copy this part, say all of it. And the only difference being we're going to set this to false. So if we've removed a component for whatever reason, we're going to set that to false. And so we got that. Nothing should change with how it works. Let's bring back Chrome. Let's uh, hit this tree. Oh, OK. This tree does not move. It's a mighty tree. Now, if we were to remove the static at some point, so let's uh, the test is live. I'm not actually sure this is going to work or not. I'll just call set timeout very simply and then do oops, remove component from bit ECS here. This.world, we're going to remove the matter static sprite from our large tree. And let's just say we're going to do it, I don't know, after three seconds. Okay, let's see. So there we go. No longer is it static. So it does, in fact, uh, this is just saying um, that it may not be defined here. But that's just a test. doesn't matter. But you can see that it did work. Our tree is normally static. Um, after we did a set timeout here just to remove that component, our tree was no longer static. And so that is um, adding a static sprite. So if you wanted to add a small tree or whatever other static things you want, you can go ahead and uh, do that with what you've learned here. So there we have our static sprite with our dynamic bodies here in uh, Phaser 3 with Matter.js using ECS with bit ECS. So that's all working. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe for more videos on using Phaser 3 with ECS and other web technologies.